Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to get smooth gameplay and remove those ugly FPS drops from your games. And this does apply to all of the games, uh, and without further ado, let's get right to it. So first up, what you need to do is Open Riva Tuner Statistics Server, which I have linked in the description. You can download and install it. It looks something like this, and what you can do is set the settings as shown. So don't worry about this one, you can set it to off. Right, uh, application detection level you can set to low, off, off, and uh, this is where the magic happens. What you need to do is, depending on your refresh rate, I'm using a 240Hz monitor. You can check in your settings and NVIDIA control panel or AMD's control panel about your refresh rate. So what you can do is use the frame rate limit button and here and input the number. So for me, I would set it to 240, but what you can do is maybe 144Hz is your monitor refresh rate or 60Hz if you're on a laptop or something like that and that will give you a consistent 60 fps so to test it out i'm going to quickly launch a game and show you how this changes so i'm going to quickly launch pubg i'll show you how it affects it i'll also show the overlay um, just because you'll understand how big of a difference it makes in the gameplay smoothness so i'm while we wait for the game to start, what I'm going to tell you is you can also set up custom profiles for each game. So say your PUBG runs barely at 100 FPS, while other games like CSGO would run at your maximum uh, refresh rate capacity. So I'll show you how to disable it. Say for Call of Duty, Modern Warfare and Warzone, they don't support um, the RTSS and it will crash if you try to alt tab or something like that. So what you need to do is disable it and I'll show you how as well. But most of the time, closing Riva Tuner is the better option. PUBG is launched. We can see the FPS on the top left, locked at 60. No worries, I'm gonna quickly jump in a match. Okay, we're loaded in. We've set the Riva Tuner to 60 FPS. You can see we're hard locked, 16.6 milliseconds. Really smooth for a 60 hertz screen, but I can set it because my, my GPU and CPU are capable of a bit higher than that. I'm gonna quickly change this to, let's say 120 to be modest. And you can see the difference. You can see that 8.3 milliseconds is constant there. Um, I can open the map, I'm recording and I'm still getting that kind of FPS, which is nuts, I wasn't getting FPS if I set it to unlimited by default Maybe I'll get 200 FPS one second and then 60 FPS another. It's two bad guys I'm Probably gonna die because I'm not wearing headphones Okay, I'm gonna quickly do that But you get the gist you can see the FPS up top right I'm dead. Yeah, no guns But meanwhile, you can see we're stuck at 120 FPS if I leave it all. And um, yeah, we're getting 8.3 millisecond response time, which is pretty good. Now, in my case, I can go up to 240 Hz because obviously the game's not gonna run 240 Hz. Um, but we can at least try to limit it. What even this will do is prevent the loading screens and stuff like that to go like beyond 2000 FPS and cause coil wind and hurt the GPU. But um, yeah, I highly recommend, even if you don't limit your FPS below your refresh rate, just limit it to 240. 240 is a good standard to have on all games. Doesn't matter which game or which hardware you're running. 240 should be the highest FPS you should set the RTSS to any higher and it won't matter. So, I'm gonna set it to 240, jumping back into the game. You can see now we're hitting 160 FPS, not bad, but you can see there's no lag or stutter. I'm recording, 
it's so good. Like my CPU usage is still sitting at 86% while graphics is 92%, which is pretty good. Um, 5400 megahertz. Okay, just gonna leave this one as the test is complete. I'm gonna quickly jump on and show you CSGO. That game can hit um, 240 FPS on my PC and you can see how smooth and how responsive the gameplay is. So here we go, 240 FPS, nice and pegged. Four millisecond response time, which is so smooth. You can see it on the camera, but maybe i would set the timeline to 60 fps so you can at least see how smooth this is i can just take out these guys no worries even for like a 2080 ti or a 1080 ti setup like mine you should still use it it doesn't matter what cpu you're running what gpu if you want consistent smooth gameplay you need to limit your fps otherwise it's all jittery and it's just a mess so yeah, that's all you need to do. Um, you can install the MSI Afterburner if you want to overclock your GPU, or you can just go for RTSS. I'll put both links in the description. And that's all you'll need to do um, to get your gameplay to the next level. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other videos up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.